Hello, this video is how to transfer old VHS, VCR tapes, um, high 8 tapes, 8mm, digital 8, video 8, DVC cam, um, and multiple other tapes from Sony uh, Handycams, Canons, uh, Panasonic, you name it. Um, as long as it, you have the um, audio video, the AVC cable, which comes with the device. Um, if you don't have it, you can easily um, purchase one online for, I don't know, five bucks. Um, and that'll fit with your camera. So you can see there it's got the, um, the audio video plug-ins and then the device that plugs into your actual um, camera or, your, or the um, VCR. Um, what I want to show you today is, is I have a Sony Handycam here and I want to transfer an old 8mm tape um, that I've had for you know several years and I'm going to be able to put it onto digital format. Um, what's cool about that is you can, once it's on digital, you can do anything with it. You can put it on uh, the cloud, you can put it on YouTube, um, you can keep, put it on an external hard drive. And it's very important to do that because, you know, over time tapes will degrade. Um, you can have a house fire or something and you can just burn up those memories that you'll never have again. But once you put it on digital format, um, you can store it on multiple places and, um, you know, have it online where you can have it forever. Um, and then the quality stays the same. So, um, what I want to show you here with the Sony Handycam, the device that you would need to do this with, it's a pinnacle uh, device, and you can basically you'll hook up your uh, audio and video to the ports here, and then this USB device can uh, hook up to your laptop or your desktop. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And uh, this device also comes with the um, a Pinnacle software that makes it very easy to um, to install and to da to download. And that's already installed on this computer. Just open up the software. I'll show you right here. And I've, I've downloaded hours and hours of family home tapes from the 90s, um, from the 80s, and, uh, you know, the quality's pretty decent once you get it on digital. Um, it does take up a lot of space, um, and I would highly recommend you, you purchase, if you got a lot of tapes, I would highly recommend you purchase, like, an external hard drive. You can get one, like a, uh, you can get, like, a thousand, a uh, thousand, a terabyte uh, hard drive online. Um, for about 50, 60 bucks brand new. Uh, and that's where I've stored all of my, uh, my videos. Okay, once this is in, only thing you have to do now is plug in your, um, your camera to the pinnacle here. So, I get my AVC cable. And plug that in there. And then I'll plug it into the camera. This particular um, Handycam has uh, 8 millimeter tapes, as you can see right here. So I'll go ahead and put a tape in. Actually, it's already got a tape. And then what I'll do here on the software, I'll just, the only thing you have to do is just click import. And as you can see there, the blue is coming out from your camera. Now onto that. Now I'll just push play here. And voila. There's a little bit of echo just because I have the volume up on the um, on my camera here. Go ahead and turn that off. All right, and then you just you just click on Start Capture down here. Whoops. And boom, now it's recording. As you can see here, 
it's right, it shows where you can import it to. So you can import it to, right now it's important to my videos. Um, I have uh, Windows XP installed, uh, but you can put this on Vista, Windows 7. You might be able to put it on Windows 8. I haven't haven't dis discovered if you can do that as of yet. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure you can do it on a MacBook. So we'll go ahead and, and stop capture. And then immediately, as soon as you stop, that video uh, transferred into wherever you stored it at. So let's go ahead and go to the video, uh, my documents, and my videos. Click on that. I got Windows uh, uh, Media Player here. As you can see there, um, I have it uh, captured. Now this particular video it shows that it's taken up um, bit size, it's you know it's uh, 133 megabytes, which is doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot because it's we've only been playing it for like a minute there. So again, I would recommend uh, transferring it onto an external hard drive. I found online where you can purchase these uh, pretty inexpensively. I've seen them as high as two, three hundred bucks, but um, I'll link you to a um, to a place where I've seen them for like a hundred bucks, hundred, hundred ten bucks. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, link you to that. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, um, to ask me. And have a great day.